yeah i think we are getting a better result because of this too and what i will do is i will just go ahead now and prepare for the final light uh, bake or light build of this scene and i will show you all how to final build the scene of any project for that art what i will go is do is i will go ahead and make it production and then in world setting i'll go ahead make it one and then in that lighting quality to four and then in that lighting to maybe 0.65 so production four point six five and then i will select this whole objects and make the resolution of them to maybe 256 and then i will increase this resolution to maybe 100 2048 and this one to 512 is okay this one is the preparing for the final light big and now i will go in base light mass and i will and uh, increase norm shadow rates to maybe 128 and then again 128 and then this one to maybe 64 and this one num num irradiance calculation photons to 2048 so the light mass setting needs to be changed for a studio light setup are as follows that uh, num shadows rays should be 128 num penumbra shadow rays should be 128 the num hemisphere sample should be 264 and then here in num radiance calculation photons should be 2048 then i will save this and then i will just go ahead and i will cross check it that production is there and then 0.1 and then 4 and then 0.65 this one is compressed light mass and now what i will do is i will just go ahead save this project and i will then light build click on uh, build for the final setup and i will meet you all after the final light build has been done so as you can see that our final light build has been completed with with all the settings which i shown you earlier and all those these are all the settings 128 and all those things and here you see the exact result of our work which we have done in studio lighting till now and i am quite satisfied with the result because i'm getting shadows here and all these shadows are getting blurred over the distance and it has some softness and i will just go ahead and see if i need to change anything in our post process volume so i will go here and then i will just check whether we can increase uh, maybe this to 1.25 or I think we need to leave it one point uh, only one and uh, so uh, here uh, uh, here we get our uh, studio setup inside Unreal Engine so you can see that our stage is fairly big so that we can check or uh, use uh, bigger furniture also here and we can see how the light will behave on those objects and i hope you guys like this and uh, this tutorial was informative for you all and uh, as a conclusion i will let you know that uh, well, first of all we used a spotlight in on a static and we gave an intensity to one and then source radius to 20 and then inner cone angle and then here we put this light for a small bounce and we don't have any uh, shadow effect on this uh, light and we have a area light here which uh, will 
bones in the top and bring some light here and and i really hope uh, this uh, tutorial will help you all and and i will think i will need to i will just go ahead and i will increase a bit multiply on this maybe to four and i will go ahead and increase this also to maybe two and then apply and we will make it uh, maybe 3.5 I think that will be enough and this took around this took around uh, 26 minutes to bake uh, the final light on my uh, Ryzen uh, it's a uh, Ryzen Threadripper 1950X 16 cores and 32 threads processor with uh, 32 GB of RAM. So I will conclude this tutorial of uh, Studio Light ma uh, of a Studio Light setup inside Unreal Engine, and I really hope you will learn something from this tutorial. And I will put this uh, whole Unreal project of this tutorial on patreon so that you can get the project file and put your sofas and then test the studio setup and you can learn the whole process from the video and i will request you all to join me on patreon so that you all can help me to make more tutorials like this and then and uh, now we can so that uh, and uh, I will request you all to become a Patreon on patreon.com slash 3D Archestops and help me out uh, to make uh, more tutorials like this. So, and uh, you can also get lots of resources from patreon.com which I keep on uploading on periodically so that you can get uh, more extra stops from there. And I will be getting help to keep on making these types of tutorial so with the with uh, so with that i will wrap up this uh, tutorial of a studio light setup inside unreal engine using data smith 3d studio max and the engine itself so i will meet you all in the next tutorial by then have fun enjoy